Yeah, drone here. This is my new Hubson, and uh, it does not have a camera. And sadly, I come to find out when I'm testing it inside, this stick is centered, so uh, it's it's altitude hold as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and give this a fly. There's two ways to start this. You can go down and out, and actually you can just go out. You don't gotta go down and out, but out. We'll start the motors. Out will shut the motors down. If you just hold up. That'll start the motors as well, and if you hold down, that'll shut the motors off. So two different ways to start this. I'm going to go down and out. That's a little bit quicker. We're going to put this up, and I do have a little bit of wind coming towards me, and it is altitude hold. It seems to be holding the altitude pretty well. Um, definitely not as zippy as a H107C. I mean, coming back on, coming back with that wind, uh, it has a little bit, but uh, yaw rate's pretty docile, and again, that wind's kind of taking it. And it's really not a strong wind; it's probably like one to two mile an hour wind, if that. Definitely not an H107C. I picked this up on Vipin for like 14 and change. I think it's actually less than that now. Um, I'd say this is a $20 quadcopter, uh, 25 at max, just because of the speed right here and the fact that we have altitude hold without a camera. Um, not to say it's a bad drone or anything, but even the shell, the shell feels cheap. But uh, we're going to go ahead and set this down. I'm not liking that pitch rate. And again, just by holding that, it goes down. So uh, what we can do here, we, we can hold our throttle down. I think, let's see. Yes, we're gonna hold our throttle down and we're gonna pr press this button in. Now you can see I have the light blinking and below the 50 it says expert mode. So we should be in a higher pitch rate now, a uh, faster pitch rate. So we're gonna go down and out. We're gonna go out. Yeah, that's increase, increase the pitch rate just a little bit, which makes this a little bit easier to fly. It's still really having a hard time with that like one to two mile an hour wind that we have here. There's a little look at the yaw rate, which is really nothing. Yeah, so I mean, this is a nice flyer. Um, it's definitely definitely does not rank with the H107C at all. We'll go ahead and do a rundown field. See that it actually gets some type of decent range. Bring it down so I can see it. So we're out there and we're just going to pull back and bring it back. Again, it's coming back pretty quick because that wind's pushing it. So I mean, even in, uh, and you can adjust, you can adjust your throttle trim, uh, you can adjust your uh, rudder trim and your aileron and everything. You can go into a setup menu, which I'm not going to do in this video because I kind of just wanted to get it out. I don't know if you could see the grass off the left of me. It's covered in frost. <laughs> um, my cars are covered in frost. It's, uh, it's pretty cold yet. The sun has yet to come up. The sun's kind of like hiding behind that tree there. I mean, really cool looking drone. Hubson makes great drones. This, I'm gonna say, is definitely a beginner's drone. I mean, we're picking up a little speed uh, flying downwind, going against wind, not so much. So it has a little pep to it. Um, I, think I'd, I think I'd be more on board with this if, uh, if it didn't have altitude hold. I don't need a small drone like this to have altitude hold for any reason whatsoever. And a slow yaw drone, especially a small one like this, I'm not a huge fan of either. Again, not a bad drone, just not what I was expecting. I was expecting an H107C style without a camera, um, and that's not what I got. <laughs> It has some zip to it, but again, it's, dude, th this thing's not moving as quick as the H107C does in stock setup. Maybe, maybe coming down with the wind it is. Oh, 
All right, guys, I think we're going to end this. Um, we got a really good feel for this drone. Um, I just kind of want to set this up here again. It's maintaining altitude, so the altitude hold works pretty well on it. Now, when you're pitching down, it is losing altitude, so be aware of that. And again, here it comes again. Now it's actually increasing altitude a little bit, so I guess it differs. I don't know. Again, $25 quad all day. Uh, they have these retailed a little bit higher. Dude, if you're gonna pay twenty if you're gonna pay $25 for this, you might as well get an H107C unless you need that altitude hold assist. And here it comes. You get a really good look at it. Alright guys, I'm Jay Drona. We're gonna drop this and we are simply going to set it down. We're gonna go to our outs and it shuts it down. Cool drone, cool looking drone. Um, super light, super light. It feels super plasticky, uh, unlike the H107C, which has some weight to it, which has some build quality to it. Um, this is a light, cheap drone. The transmitter is good. Transmitter is the same transmitter. Um, but uh, all right, guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And uh, if you're going to fly, fly safe. Have a wonderful day. Take care.